this software automatically captures your game clips with the parameters that you give it. Now I've used a ton of other like capturing software like Radeon Adrenaline, uh, Streamlabs OBS, NVIDIA Shadowplay, Xbox Game Bar, like yada, 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 you name it. Nothing compares to this. And I'm about to tell you exactly why. Now this, this software is called Outplayed by Overwolf. And this software is 100% free. So don't even worry about having to pay for it. Now you can do a subscription that'll get you um, no ads, advanced layout options, enhanced full screen mode, uh, video editor, watermark if you wanna use this to edit videos, your gameplay clips in. This isn't sponsored or anything. This is just something that I really, really like. And I don't think there's anything that compares to this right now. If you know anything that's better or compared to this after you see the video, go ahead and comment that down below so I can check it out as well. Now, talking about the no ads, it literally, these are all the ads you get. And you only get them when you come into software and they're small all they're mad small so even if you don't want to pay you don't have to um but let's go ahead and get started so basically how you start this up is you basically pick a game that you play uh, i play apex the most so i have apex check also have elden ring rust split gate and valorant but we'll go into apex legends right so what happens is this software automatically captures clips based off what you want. You can also set it to record a full session or a full match or manual only. So full match, what it'll do is it'll just, it, from the moment you start a game, like from the moment you're in the dropship, it'll start recording and it'll stop recording at the end. And once it's finished recording, it's wrapped up. Like by the time you're in the lobby, it'll say your clip is ready to view. You can press control O and bring up the overlay. And you can watch that clip right there if you want to. Um, full session is just what it is. In the entire time you're playing the game, it'll just record from lobby to wait times everything now manual only is when you just basically set a hotkey and you're able to just take clips as you want now this is the main feature of this because all this other stuff you can do with other softwares this is the main thing auto capture match events now my best friend rj told me about this and the first time he told me about it we were playing a game and i was kind of like yeah 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 i wasn't really paying attention to it right he said it was a software i used uh i was using radion adrenaline at the time and I, I kind of just brought it up later and was like, you know, uh, what was that software you were talking about that automatically ca captures clips? Because um, I want to check it out. So this is super cool, right? This feature right here highlights, it auto captures match events. And I was like, ah, how can it do that? You know, what are, how do you set these up? And once you actually get into the software, you have all of these parameters and they're different for every game. And some games don't have as high a level of compatibility as others, but typically first person shooters kind of, it's pretty simple. You want kills, assists, deaths, and stuff like that. But Apex Legends, you can record, it'll record a clip based on if you get a victory, if you get a kill, if you knock somebody down, if you get knocked down, if you were revived, if you were re respond, if you died, or if you got an assist. And the cool thing about this, I'm, uh, you go into advanced options, you can, you can set how much you, how much time you want it to record before that event and how much you want it to save after that event. And you can do that for each event down here. Uh, I haven't really messed with that because it's pretty good. A cool thing that I didn't think about uh, that, or I, I thought about and I wasn't sure how it would be implemented. If you got several events back to back, would it record multiple clips? And if they're within the same, the cool thing is if they're within that same time frame and they kind of overlap, it'll just create one clip instead of doing multiple, multiple clips, which just would cause the storage like nightmare and just stuff like that. Now, um, again, you got the hotkeys, which is standard. Pretty much the same for every game, right? I've, I'm gonna put some clips up so you can see, you know, kind of how it captures and what it does. Now, um, Apex Legends, another one is Split Gate, right? You can capture headshots, which is really cool, kills and death. And then uh, Valorant, you can capture victory, death, kills, and assist, right? So that's all cool. It automatically does this. What it does is once you start a match, like it won't record the lobby or anything. Once the match actually starts, it'll say uh, something along the lines of outplayed is running, good luck have fun or something like that and at the end of that match it'll say your clips are ready press control o to view now um another cool thing about this software is if you go into your capture settings right you can you know set anything you want i went ahead and went custom um 1440p quad hd 60 uh fps you can capture clips at 90 or 120 fps now this alone like i don't know any other softwares that offer you to capture at 120 fps now you may be asking why do you need to capture at 120 fps you don't have to you can capture at 60 or 30 this is going to increase how smooth it is and people that don't have a 90 or 120 hertz display aren't going to be able to appreciate this but you will and on top of that even more is with 120 frame recordings you can slow it down more and it be smoother than if you slow down a 30 or 60 or 90 fps video yeah, you can slow this video down more and maintain all the frames in between um i don't know if you see like some of the clips you see like skipping and stuff when they try to slow it down that's because there aren't enough frames to slow the video down this gives you the option to do 120 frames 
so that you can slow the video down and actually, you know, re retain that video uh, visual fidelity and capture all those clips in between at slow motion. Now, it's not going to be like 240 frames, which is like optimal if you're, you know, uh, slowing something down, but 120 is definitely really good. You can also choose GPU or CPU encoding, and this is uh, included with the free. I know some versions of some stuff you have to pay to get like GPU encoding. This comes for free. Now, you can also capture, it'll capture the game's audio and it'll capture the microphone audio. One issue that I have with this, and this is really my only issue with the software, is that they need to add an option where you can capture, like say I use a SteelSeries um, Arctis Pro headset, right? And if you guys have you ever used a headset that has a, a game and a chat slider, where you can turn up the game volume or you can turn up the chat volume, and you mix those in between with the, with the bar or the wheel or whatever you have on your headset, it's a separate audio. So if you go into here, right, into my audio settings, you can see I have, uh, I have it set to sonar right now, but I'll just go off of the base headset so you can see what I'm talking about. So you have heads headset earphone, which is still series Arctis Pro chat. And then you have the, where is it? It's somewhere in here. I'll just go off the, the sonar version, but you have another version that's chat. And then you have another version that's gaming. Gaming is going to play the game audio. Chat's going to play the chat audio. I wish there was another option to add in another input device, like a, another or uh, output device, like a, another audio source, so that I could capture uh, my chat volume. That's not an issue with Apex because Apex doesn't have where you can separate the game chat from the actual game volume. But when I'm in a party in Apex, say I'm in an Xbox party and I'm in a party with my friends, it won't capture their audio; it'll only capture mine because that chat audio or the Xbox Game Bar audio, where I'm in an Xbox party, it's set to chat it's not set to game but if i want to catch my game volume i have to leave this set to game which is kind of upsetting but at the end of the day it does so many things right that that's like a minor pet peeve i just hope they get to see this video and you know fix something like this it's super small to fix another thing i wanted to mention is bitrate um it's gonna come set at like six thousand that's gonna look absolutely terrible you do not need to have it up to sixty thousand. i was just kind of testing my way up to see where i would get the clearest uh you know the, the clearest image 40 after i think it's 40 or 30 or mm, it may be 40 000. i'm thinking it's 40 000. about 40 000 with 1440p everything is just diminishing returns after this honestly you're not going to get much more improved visual fidelity fidelity it's really good um it's not the clearest image i've seen but that's neither here nor there, especially if you're uh, uploading them online anyway, you're gonna get some degradation of quality regardless, but 40, 50, you know, play around with that, you know, play a game, set it to this, come back, change it, do it again until you see where you're having, you know, the best visual fidelity. This is another really big thing, storage, right? A really big issue I was having with my other software is I was just completely continuing to add stuff and add stuff and add stuff. And it was just taking up a ton of space. Like, I mean, I think I had like 600 gigabytes of like clips. This thing auto manages your or storage so once you get to this mark you can set it to whatever you want or you can manually manage it i have it set to 300 gigabytes and what happens once it hits 300 gigabytes is it start starts deleting the oldest clip now i'm not sure if this warns you when you're getting close because i would be kind of upset if i just forgot about this and it just started deleting old clips and didn't warn me about it i'm hoping that it warns me but i'm nowhere near that uh amount so i won't be able to know until i get there now notifications this pretty much just tells you when it starts um recording uh when the match starts when the match ends and then it tells you if manual captures turned on now uh this is like what i told you earlier i'm gonna see if i can get it to pop up on the screen once you start a game not in the lobby not at the waiting screen but once you like are in the drop ship it'll pop up at the top and say like um session started good luck have fun and then that way you know it's gonna capture all of your clips it has tons of game support and if it's not in here then you can just manually capture which is no different from any other software but you have the added benefit of other games that do have support you know being able to just clip those uh off the bat now uh one other issue and the only other issue i'm having with this is like i'll take rust for example right the game has no in-game overlay support some features are not available right so what it does is it automatically sets it to full session anytime i start this game full session that's irritating this means that it's just gonna just clip the entire session every time you play which is irritating because it won't even let you switch over to the manual only option this is specifically for rust um none of the other games have this issue that i have on here not even elden ring you can manually you know set clips so you can just clip whatever you want when you want by pressing a hotkey or you can do full session now go back to rust you can't do manual it doesn't have support which is very very irritating um i, I don't know if they i don't know if this is an issue with rust itself 
because it says no overlay support but i overlay the game bar so i'm not sure if that's just specifically with this software or, or whatever it is but that's just another small issue i'm having but uh i would definitely give this a 9 out of 10 like compared to any other like it blows any like the name of it's outplayed and i don't know if that's because you know you clip stuff when you outplay somebody or if they just outplayed all of the competition when it comes to this capturing software but both are true <laughs> this is really cool right so you see how i have revenant here it'll tell you the match and you can change the match name you can delete the clip all from here it's all managed perfectly well now this is all the apex games that i played today 10 games uh 29 games yesterday uh nine games of split gate today um what it does is it manages it by character you play and kills and the time so the match the, the second match for this day and you, you'll realize there's some number missing because i kind of hid the ones that have zero kills but we're not going to worry about that now it manages the game by characters and match played and it'll show you the amount of kills you have on each one and the character you played and if you look in this right corner it actually shows like a really cool like emblem or a picture of the character so if i switch over to loba you see loba uh if i go to yesterday i think i played somebody else besides revenant yesterday yeah i played some newcastle so it has like newcastle and i mean this means it's relatively up to date because newcastle just came out so they're constantly they've got to be constantly updating this uh this is where you can see the entire view of all the matches and all the days um but let me go back you just click on a match to go back and it, right so let's go like to apex and then mirage loba and you look over here um you can see the character now i'll let me try to pick a game that has uh more kills more action so you can see right this game i had seven kills so you can see like in the timeline down here it it'll show you the entire length of the game you played and it'll show where all the clips are the cool thing is if you hover over these this is this emblem means somebody knocked you down so you can just skip right up to where somebody knocked you down at or you knock somebody down at and you can just view that clip same thing this little emblem i think it means kill yeah so this is where you knock somebody down this is a kill and it shows that throughout each clip and like i said these clips overlap so if something happens within you know the the overlap time with the, of another clip it'll just combine it to create one single clip and you can just go through these and see the exact moment that things happen and this is perfect for if you just want to go in and get this clip save it and whatnot and you can kind of just go through this and kind of uh, have a better judgment of how you want to look at your clips and how you optimize the clips this is the best nobody does it this well no, no not that i know of if you know somebody that does it like this another company that does it like this let me know so i can check it out but thus far nobody does it like this like this is insanely like accurate it's insanely like um time saving like i used to just open up the radeon clip folder and i used to just have to go through clip after clip after clip just to figure out you know which clip it is and where the you know clip happened this you do not have to guess you just figure out hey i played this game three days ago i had a clip so you go to three days ago right so this is all yesterday's may 25th and you basically just go in here and you can just click on the specific match you can see how many kills you got that match so it's one game you know you you had like a crazy amount of clips you just be like oh yeah i had like 10 kills this game you just click on that game and everything's already set up and then the in-between times just have nothing right but it'll keep it'll manage so you can see how much time you spend in that game as well um and that's pretty much everything like important that i want to say about this there's a few like small things like you can filter the events and i don't know what apm stats are um but you can trim the clip you you have a clip editor so if you want to edit it you can go ahead and do that um but that's pretty much everything if you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like if you want to see more videos like this in the future please consider subscribing to the channel and if you have any questions make sure you comment those down below i'll try to get to them as fast as i can thank you so much for watching take it easy